Are you a fan of Mass Effect? Are you glad that they're remastering the series? Well, join me today as we print the Normandy SR2. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are going to print the Normandy SR2. Now, this little print was actually really cool. It had a few little bears during the end of the process of taking off the support, but this was printed all in one piece. And it is actually multiple parts. And as you can see here, there's a line there. I had a problem with the nose on mine, so I just cut off the bad part and reprinted the rest. There's still a little bit of work I have to do on this one as I still have not gotten the spikes off the nose yet. Um, every time I try to print them, they're so thin that my FDM printer is having a problem doing it. So I'm gonna try it over on my resin printer and get that on there. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see that final product when that's done. But this little guy was an awesome print. I printed it straight up just like that. A lot of great detail for the ship. And honestly, it was a really fun model to print and it takes me back to one of my favorite video games, the Mass Effect series, which from what I understand is getting a remaster and possibly even a new game, which brought me back to this guy. Um, it was just a fun ship. Um, honestly, I plan on trying to find a good model of the SR-1 or trying to modify a model to make the SR-1, but that's later down the line. The SR-2 is the one that we saw in most of the games of two and three, so that's the one I chose to print. So I printed this on a CR-10. I printed it, like I said, straight up and down and got it pretty well in one print, except at the end, if you watch the time-lapse, you'll catch this. My printer, for some reason, caught it, got it stuck, broke it off the plate and threw it off. Uh, luckily, it didn't break it. Um, it only got broke when I uh, started taking the supports off the back, but a little bit of glue, everything went back on just fine and really didn't have any problems. And you'll see in Kira, I had to actually add manual supports to make sure these fins got supported. I couldn't get it to auto-generate support for it, which was a little odd. But <clears throat> that's the model. So hopefully you guys enjoy the content you're about to see of taking this from Thingiverse through Kira and getting it printed. If you do, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, join the crew. And for the people that have joined, I really appreciate your support. It makes me feel really great that over 1,300 people have joined the channel and joined the crew and given feedback and helped others in the community because that's what this channel is all about, is helping you get these printed. So let's hop over to the computer and get this guy going. See you over there. All right, and here we go. I hope you guys are excited about this one as I am because this is one of my favorite games of all time that are out there to be played. This one's made by WNDL. Um, it is a one file print. Uh, the only thing I had a problem with this print was the nose piece. I actually am, I cut that off and I'm actually gonna do this piece in resin to complete my model. Uh, for some reason with the FDM print, it just didn't work well. But this is the model that we're doing. It's the Normandy SR2. So let's get that downloaded. Let's get Kira opened up and let's take a look. And I've already got the model in there and as you can see, it went so we got to shrink this guy down to fix our filled our build plate. I'm going to go with 2% and I printed it upright. Actually, I think I went with 1.8% because uh, it was just too big for my build plate. I am going to use a CR10 to print this one. As you guys can see, it's in the build plate. Now, I did run into some trouble printing this one that I'm going to go through and show you guys how I got it to work. Now, I did have a problem with the nose piece up here, um, getting those two hooks to work, but I also ran into problems here with the tail fins. So, what I'm going to do here real quick, um, I'm using Inland White PLA to print the model. Here, we'll scroll through my settings here real quick, make sure my interaction and all that is in place. Make sure that we're doing good infill density. I'm going to do 10%. Don't have to do much more. 215 for the inland PLA. Inland PLA, you want to do between 200 and 220. 215 seems to work well for this CR10 that I'm using. It's my CR10 V1. Um, retraction is enabled, Z hop, and we've got our retraction set up at 6.5. I found if I go any lower than 6 and I go higher than 7 or 8, I get really bad screening. 6.5 works really well for me. Um, that can be different on any printer that we get out there. And of course we want to generate supports and I've got it at 70% or 80%. 
So let's get this guy sliced real quick. If you guys are enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button, join the crew, as we have a lot more of this stuff coming, because like I said, this game's being remastered, and I am excited about that prospect. So not a lot of material being used here, but when we go look at the preview, this is where things get hairy. And as you notice, we've got unsupported parts, and that's a problem. Now I tested working with this. I went all the way down to 60, and it did not pick up that these needed supports. So I had to add the custom supports. So I used a cylinder, a hop back to prepare, and I just booped and booped. Now you can try to add in a custom support for these, but it doesn't come out very well. Because if you go boop, it goes all the way through your model. And that just doesn't work. We don't want that. So I'm gonna undo that. So, and as you'll see from the pictures of mine, and actually, in the print, this failed. It got all the way up here and knocked it off the build plate. But I didn't let that deter me because if you guys saw my Kira video or my video on how to save your print with Kira, you'll see how I finished the nose tip. And like I said, I'm going to go get those small pieces. I'm just going to use my resin printer to get around that one for me. But all in all, we got a great build. I did have some problems with the engines. Um, the lower parts here broke when I was removing my supports. They glued back really easy. It was not a devastating break. Um, I just used the testers model glue and glued them right back on. So we've got that. We've now got our additional support. Now one thing you can kind of do, mine was a collision. Uh, the hot end was actually burring into the model. Um, you could increase your um, raft to give better plate adhesion. I'm only using five. You could bump that up to 10 or 15. Yes, it uses more material, but it does hold it to the plate better, so you might avoid what happened to me. But again, I just wasn't getting these spikes, or I think these are the laser cannons to uh, actually print. But let's get this file saved. Let's get over to the time lapse. I hope you guys enjoy it. And we'll see you on the other side. All right, that's it. So pretty easy print. Like I said, I'm still having a problem getting these done correctly. I'm gonna try a few other things, but all in all, the model's done. And honestly, in comparison, a model, I think a third the size would cost you 30 to $50 of the same ship, where I probably printed this for two, three dollars when it comes down to the, to the filament use, not counting power and stuff like that, but time, but Material, it cost me maybe three, four dollars to print this guy. And I've got a really cool model to paint. Um, it does have some contour lining that I will sand down and a few things. But all in all, the detail on this model is magnificent. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks.